And we join you on this hot sunny day from Indianapolis. It's round number three of the NASCAR Cup Series season. It's the Verizon 200 at the Brickyard, our first and only road course race of the year from Speedway, Indiana. And this is a very decisive race. Round three, only two races left until the playoffs. And this is where the points start to matter. It's going to be a hot day, and it's going to be a very intense one as well. Bubba Wallace starts on pole with Chase Elliott, but it's Chris Buescher, the rookie, who leads the field in the standings, and it's Kevin Harvick right behind with Denny Hamlin, the only familiar face in the top four, the past champion in season two. Bubba Wallace starts on pole, but he has been nowhere near the top of the point standings this year, neither has Ricky Stenhouse Jr., last year's champion. It is going to be a very interesting playoffs and a very interesting season, but first, we'll kick off a very interesting race here from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course. Bubba Wallace starts on pole alongside Chase Elliott, then the rookie Chase Briscoe starts alongside Christopher Bell, Kyle Larson in row number three with Ricky Stenhouse Jr., and it's Joey Logano and Martin Truex Jr. in row number four. Rounding out the top ten is Daniel Suarez and Denny Hamlin. Then we head on further back. Eric Almirola starts alongside William Byron. Then it's Chris Buescher, who has been the only winner this season. He swept both rounds one and two alongside Kevin Harvick. Then it's Ryan Blaney and Alex Bowman. Austin Dillon, then it's Eric Jones. And both to the rear, two big names, Brad Keselowski and Kyle Busch round out the tail end of the field. We'll see how the two and the 18 make their way up the field. Playoff implications on the line. Pace car will head off onto pit lane. Bubba Wallace will lead us to green, and we're road course racing from the Brickyard. Well, Chase Briscoe, not a good start. He's going to fall back. Three wide in row three. Kyle Larson makes a move down the inside with Bell on the outside now. The 14 falling back. Losing quite a few positions as Bubba Wallace leads us through these final right and left handers. Back up to the front stretch they go. Down into turn one, that right hander on this 2.49 mile load course. Chase Elliott not a move for the lead yet as they have the 5 6 eight. But here comes Elliott now. He makes a move on the right hander. Down to have a great concern. Elliott's in the lead of the race. Chase Elliott is going to move lap two as they head down into three. Looking at the telemetry now. Down in turn number one. Now through five and six. Elliott, Wallace, side by side. No one giving an edge. Here comes Elliott, hanging that car around the outside. Elliott holds on to the lead as we head to lap four. Further back of the field, that's Chase Briscoe we're on board with now with Joey Logano right behind. Oh, we got a problem for the 14. He's blowing up. Big wreck in your mirror. Big This is going to be a big one. And a terrible crash. Joey Logano into the wall. Let me know what you're okay with. Ricky Stenhouse, Eric Omarola. I think he got in the air as well. And the pace car will bring the field around to NASCAR Oval, turns three and four, and the red flag is out here in Indianapolis for what we believe is oil in this high speed, turns five and six, that chicane, and a terrible crash for Joey Logano. And it all started with mechanical problems for Chase Briscoe. On board with him, we saw him blowing up had to be something with the motor leaking oil. Oh, and Logano, no visibility with the smoke. No grip as well with the oil that we think was on the track. This is the view from above. Look down low. Daniel Suarez somehow gets by. Look at Almirola. Losing grip back there. Oh, and a terrible crash for Joey Logano. Eric Almirola, look at the bottom of your screen here. You'll see the blue car of Stenhouse T-bone him. Almirola gets into the air. Oh, look at Logano. Hard into the outside wall. And then spins back around and goes straight into the wall again. Oh, and a terrible crash here in Indianapolis. Joey Logano has won twice. He's won here back in 2020 with the Brickyard 400. That was on the Oval. He won last year in New Hampshire, the Ambetter 301. You see Stenhouse, Briscoe, Almirola involved in this one. And a terrible crash here at Indianapolis. Red flag is out. We are almost ready to get back underway. It'll be Elliott who leads Bubba Wallace in the restart. And if you can recall from last year where Hendrick Motorsports had an issue with the fuel strategy, because of this red flag, because of this yellow, we won't have an issue with that. All the cars will stay out and be able to run the end of the race on fuel. As we're back under green, Chase Elliott leads us back to the start finish line. He's going to get a bit of help from Larson, his teammate. He pushes him off the track. Elliott locks up with Larson, has taken the lead of the race. Here comes Suarez on the attack with Christopher Bell now. 
7, 8, and 9. The final turns back to the front three. Larson under attack from the 99. Will drive is hungry for a win. But here comes Suarez to take the lead of the race. The 5 and 6, the 99 is running away with the win. Larson once again. Two years in a row will fall short of a win at the Brickyard because here comes Suarez to take the white flag. One more time around in Indianapolis. This changes the playoff picture completely. In a race that has been so crucial to the drivers from last year, we haven't won yet. Daniel Suarez is going to spoil the party and get his first career victory at the Brickyard. You can hear the crowd, the excitement here in Indianapolis. Larson has fallen short. The Hendrick Woes continue here at the Brickyard. This was such a crucial oh, race. We said how close we were to the playoffs beginning. Oh, Daniel Suarez has spoiled the party. He and Chris Busch have won their way into the playoffs. And for the drivers who have yet to win, who were in the playoffs last year, that being last year's champion, Ricky Stenhouse, that being Bubba Wallace, they have their work cut out for them in the high banks of Daytona. This was what happened to Chase Elliott. Got a shove from Larson. The 5-2 deep into turn one. The nine locks up. He takes the 23 with him. Off track. Suarez, Bell, negotiating turn seven, eight, and nine. Suarez takes a look down the inside. They both need a win to get into the playoffs. And Suarez just started to run away. He made his way up through the field. Got through that wreck on lap four with the oil on the track. He was determined to win this race. This is a big moment for Daniel Suarez to make his way back into the playoffs. Not only to do that, but to win his way back into the playoffs. This is what the running order looks like at the end of this Verizon 200 at the Brickyard. This being the final round before the cutoff race at Daytona next time out. Kyle Larson finishes second with Busher in third. He's been the only winner this year other than Suarez. Danny Hamlin finishes in fourth with Dylan in fifth. Kevin Harvick finishes sixth with Martin Truex Jr. behind him. Then it's Christopher Bell, Bubba Wallace, Chase Elliott rounding out the top ten. Ryan Blaney finishes in eleventh. He finished on the podium here last year. William Byron, then it's Kyle Busch and Alex Bowman. Brad Keselowski finishes in fifteenth. A very stark, contrasting result from last year at this track with Eric Jones in sixteenth. Almirola, Stenhouse, Lugano, Briscoe all out from the wreck on lap four. And we'll take a look at this ever so crucial playoff standings. Chris Buescher leads the way with 28. Kevin Harvick 7 behind with Hamlin 10 behind. Then it's Kyle Larson and Daniel Suarez in the top 5. Chase Elliott, Alex Bowman, Joey Logano, Chase Briscoe, and Bubba Wallace on the top 10. Then we go to 11th and 12th. This is where the playoff picture starts and ends. It's Austin Dillon and William Byron locked in the playoffs for now on that cut line. Amarola um, one point behind. But everything can change with a new winner at Daytona next time out. Remember, 12 advance in the playoffs after the Daytona race, and then we go to the round of eight. That doubleheader at Texas decides the championship four in New Hampshire. And as I said before, Chris Buescher has been the only winner this year other than Daniel Suarez. Buescher won the first two rounds with Suarez winning here today. We have four races to go. One of them is a regular season race. That's the cutoff race at Daytona. Then it's Texas one, Texas two, both playoff races, and the championship race in New Hampshire. And look at that. If you were to tell someone last year that Bubba Wallace and Ricky Stenhouse would only have a handful of points this year, they wouldn't have believed you. But this is what the playoffs are turning into. What a season this is going to be on AJ Racing. Through three rounds, we've had two new winners. And the only ones showing improvement, Denny Hamlin and Alex Bowman. The regular season cutoff race, July 20th at 8 p.m. from Daytona. We'll see you then. AJ Racing thanks you for watching this presentation of the NASCAR Cup Series.